Yuhan R&D Institute is a dynamic pharmaceutical research hub that develops innovative new drugs. Our patient-focused approach to R&D positions Yuhan Corporation as an emerging leader and ideal international partner in the global pharmaceutical marketplace. In addition to creating quality pharmaceuticals, Yuhan scientists study the cutting-edge platform technologies that help create tomorrow's breakthrough medicine. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, so we want to introduce our company and about our uh, DNA Colgate library. Uh, this, uh, we're from China, so this here is actually the, our introduction and our DNA the library, how do we design it, uh, how do we do like a sc uh, screening, and uh, our internal, uh, selected uh, internal projects. Oops. Uh, we are, Heijin was founded in 2012, and we are in Chengdu, China right now. Uh, Chengdu is in the southwest of China. Uh, we have uh, we just moved into a new building. It's uh, 10 floors, and it uh, has uh, 19,000 square meters. And uh, right now we have uh, more than 330 people. Uh, we have 20% uh, of PhD, 45% of uh, master, and 30% of bachelor degrees. Uh, we basically, we do like DNA encoding library, we do screening, and we do internal projects. We find the best uh, small molecule heats, then we do optim optimization so we can find the, um, the best molecule for the drug discovery. Uh, here is, uh, this little point that doesn't work. Okay, it works. Actually we used, uh, here is our uh, DNA encoding library, like here is a small molecule, uh, it's very cold. This is a DNA tag, we use this DNA tag as a barcode. So when you are only target, we hit when you only target it with heat the, uh, with the small molecule, then we can see, uh, we use the, the DNA as a barcode, so we can see like which molecule target to the, uh, bonding with the uh, a target, so we can see like affinity. But the, in some uh, situation, you, you will get very high affinity, but the problem is that you uh, don't have the activity. So we need to, take it out uh, of DNA synthesize, get the small molecule, then we can retest again to see the affinity and the, the activity. So this basically is our... And this is how we uh, build our DNA encoding library. So right now we have uh, more than 400 billion small molecules in our library uh, because we, the quantity is very important, but also the, uh, the quality is also very important. Uh, we want to get very novel and uh, diverse, uh, uh, high quality, small molecules. So we use the different strategies to build our DNA encoding library. Uh, first, we use the novel DNA uh, compatible uh, chemical reactions synthesized the, uh, the DNA uh, encoding library. We use a uh, scaffold, uh, and also we use the uh, uh, bioactive molecules and uh, uh, biological targets. Here are uh, just the details uh, about how do we um, build our library. Uh, we use the extract co-structures, uh, synthesize the chemistry in the drug synthesis, and also we use the building blocks uh, uh, from the uh, drug fragments. Uh, we have a different uh, DNA encoding libraries. We have uh, ring-closed DNA libraries. Uh, we have a tri-functional uh, scaffold-based uh, libraries. We have a building block. Uh, uh, DELS, and we have uh, micro, microcyclic uh, DNA libraries. We also have the electrophase. And uh, this one for the, is for the, I really want to talk about this one because for the green one, uh, it's drug and the drug candidates. Uh, for the green one, it's from the uh, link, 
uh, drug database. And for the heat gene, the blue ones are from the heat gene. We just randomly picked uh, uh, structures. So you can see like from uh, heat genes, um, uh, dial uh, library is almost covered by everything in here. So definitely will be a bad, uh, good hit for us. And this is way uh, how designed uh, we are uh, DNA encoding library with the uh, electrophiles. I, I will not talk too much about the details. Uh, this is our DNA encoding library synthesis platform. Uh, this is our, all our laboratories, our instruments. Uh, this is actually the screening process of the DNA encoding library. First, this, uh, our library is only in a small tube. Uh, very small tube in here. We can just react with the target. Then we can, uh, if we bind it with the target, then we will wash it. The, only, the <coughs> small molecule is not binding to the uh, target, will be washed away. Then <coughs> after the wash, we can use the PCR to amplify, so we can test the uh, affinity. We can get the good heat. We, this is our data analysis uh, process. Then we can find the what's the best uh, uh, heat. Then we can find the, when we get the heat, we can do the lead optimization, so we can get the best molecule. And this is our screening target uh, class distribution. Uh, the most we did is uh, for the protein-protein uh, interaction. And uh, others is uh, all the enzymes. This is also the same with the heat gene screening target classification distribution. Uh, I will not go many details about this. This is just uh, our uh, screening process, how we find the good heat. Because for this, I want to emphasize uh, we have uh, different parameters, like if you, what's the molecule, uh, molecular weight you want, what is the sol uh, solubility, what's the polarity, and uh, you want the ring, uh, two rings in there, two rings or three rings. Based on these per uh, parameters, maybe we can get the heat about uh, 1,000 or 2,000 after the filter. We add the filter in there, maybe we can get just 10 or 20. Then we can find the best heat, what is the good uh, leading compound for the for the target. Uh, this is the same. So our overall success rate about the 63%. Uh, but uh, it's very hard to see because uh, some targets are very hard. Uh, we tried some targets several times. We didn't get any hate because it depends on the hate. It depends on the hard, uh, target. But we get a very successful um, hit percentage uh, for the um, very challenging ones because we have, a, we have a joint venture company with Pfizer last year, and we will have another company with uh, a big pharma this year. Uh, you will see the news tonight. We will have, um, we get a very, uh, for the MST's uh, challenging target, we already get very good results, and they will buy it uh, exclusively. So. It's, uh, our technology part is pretty good. Uh, this is our internal project. Right now, Heijin has more than 20 um, internal projects going on because we have the Dell um, included, uh, DNA encoding library platform. So this is the uh, one. This one is very interesting because for the uh, IL-17, usually you have only have the antibody drugs. You don't have the small molecule drug. But right now, we found a good uh, small molecule drug uh, it will be much cheaper and it will be more convenient for the patient to take. And uh, this is our uh, drug discovery challenge. This is how we do like how we do our data analysis. We can find the best heat. We can use the 3D models to find uh, what is the best heat for us. And this is our uh, DNA encoding library screening platform. It's all the instruments in there. And this is our uh, pipeline of the internal projects. Right now we have one in phase one. Uh, it's uh, HG146. Uh, uh, we, uh, we will fire another in this year, fire ND in this year, and we'll, be maybe we'll have one or two in next year. And for a lot of people, a lot of companies right now, they are interested in our projects, and we are talking about the 
uh, partnership of our, our internal projects. Uh, this is the, our uh, HG146 is in the uh, phase one right now. We are doing clinical trial in China right now. Uh, I will not go too much detail about all this. So this, uh, I want to um, introduce our business models. So we can do the um, Dell synthesis, we can do Dell screening, we can do uh, auto license collaboration, and uh, we can do strategic collaboration like we did with Pfizer, or we can jo uh, start a J uh, JV company. And uh, also we do some sales stuff, we can do the oligo synthesis, um, and also we do uh, internal uh, drug discovery project. Uh, also we have, um, we have uh, some uh, collaborations with uh, academic and the research centers from the uh, worldwide. Uh, right now we are doing a lot, uh, just a risk hearing, uh, we can share the IP so we can find the best lead. If you have uh, any good targets, just let us know. So we are very open and transparent to talk about the partnership. And this is, um, right now in the world, only four big companies for the, uh, in the Dell, uh, in the DNA encoding library, one is the GSK. But GSK doesn't provide a uh, uh, service for the outside. Uh, the rest of three are Heijin, Xcam, and the New Evolution. New Evolution is in Denmark. New Evolution is already uh, ipo so New Evolution only focus on their own internal projects. So they will not provide many uh, outside service. X camera is in the US, so you can see like this is the last <coughs> last four years uh, our the publicly announced uh, deals for the Dell deals, and uh, we uh, we still have a lot of deals we cannot publicly announce. So this is just a comparison. This is our partnership. So uh, from the top 20 big pharmaceutical companies, the uh, 14 are our partners. Uh, in here, actually, uh, uh, several of uh, the new partners we didn't add here. Uh, we have a partnership with um, uh, some farmer from the India uh, in March. And uh, in April, we have uh, uh, the King Kong from Japan and also the Spain, uh, the Amarillo from Spain. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, just ask me. Thank you. Tangshini, Million to Tungul Chanko is still there. Tangshini Chingudrun, Million and Mage, Bumul Makigo Ita. To Tung, Tamumian, Tangshin Mansone, Tamtibago, Tilgara, Pinjai.